Good morning, folks. It's a beautiful day here, starting up uh, here at Homestead Aquarius. And I was hoping I'd be able to introduce you to one of my old friends. Um, <laughs> we can't see, we can't see my old friend, but somewhere through there is the morning sun. <laughs> old friend of mine, I haven't seen in a long time. I'm used to seeing the evening sun, but not the morning sun in a while. Seems like ever since I started a YouTube channel, my my uh, going to bedtime has been a little bit later. <laughs> you ever done one of those things that was questionable? You know, you start getting older and it's like there's things you just shouldn't do. Well, I'm doing one of those things right now. I got up yesterday morning, put my boots on, everything got going. And uh, it was ladish in the morning, you know, since I've been staying up longer and watching videos and stuff, supporting people. And it's gotten a little out of control now for me. So I'm doing like a hard reset. We're, uh, we stayed up all night. <laughs> Hoping maybe I can reset my biological clock to get me back in the habit of getting up at four in the morning or three or whatever. And getting some work done early in the mornings before the sun comes up. Yeah. And right now, right now this coffee is is the only thing keeping me going, I think. <laughs> but uh, Daniel at Copperhead Road Homestead, he tagged me in a video collaboration um, a few days ago, and it's the uh, good and bad and ugly of gardening. So I've, I've put that off as long as I could. I'm going to have to do it, so... We can get somebody else tagged in this, so um, <laughs> I, I dread doing it too. I don't really want to do it, um, but uh, I tell you, it, it, there's a lot of bad and ugly, but there's good too. So y'all hang on, and uh, I'll, I'll get to some of that, and, and I'm probably going to get some more coffee too. <laughs> Maybe I should just start off with some of the ugly first. Just some of it. It's good, bad, and ugly. It doesn't say anything about worse, okay? <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm showing you some of the worst in here. Um, this is what is left, or, or not what's left, uh, but this is my greenhouse. The greenhouse that I spent so much time in the fall and winter and early spring and springtime and everything doing all kinds of fun stuff in there with my plants it was amazing um all fall winter and spring kept everything warm in there lots of tropical plants and um the the, the bad and the ugly part of it is i took my eyes off of it I did not, I got busy doing things outside. I got busy um, making YouTube videos outside and, and doing things outside. And I was like a squirrel. You ever see one of them squirrels when they get in the middle of the road and they don't know whether to run to the left or the right and you're still going at them? And they're standing there going back and forth. Well, that's that was me. And... If you forget something one day, sometimes that can turn into two days and three days. Well, it did, okay? It did. And all the work, not all of it, but enough of it to really give me a bad case of heartbreak um, over what I've done with my plants all that time. And I lost most of them. Um, I've still got a lot of them, but I lost an enormous amount of plants that I babied all winter long. And so it's pretty heartbreaking. So I'll show you this. Now you might look, you might look at this and think that this was 
you know, a bad or an ugly thing, okay? This is the plastic I showed y'all before, you know, in the greenhouse at, at night, you know, but you couldn't see it. But um, this is just regular construction grade plastic, okay? This is not ugly, all right? The ugly part was me taking it off, my, me getting, me, me forgetting to do things for one too many days, keep it, taking my eye off the ball, never do that. I was more concerned with uh, the videos and everything, and it, all it takes is a little bit of heat for just a little bit of time, and you can roast everything, and that's what happened. Um, anyhow, this plastic here, if this is not an ugly thing for me. Right now, this is pretty ugly, right? And it, it looks like it was a bad thing. No, it served a purpose. I wanted to get this greenhouse going and up as fast as possible. Uh, it was in the fall when I did it, and I had my, my tropical plants that I was worried about. They would have died. So um, I got construction-grade plastic. I put this uh, cattle panel greenhouse together and covered it in cheap plastic. Um, and it served its purpose very well. It's a cheaper price point to get in the game, but it doesn't last that long. I was hoping that it would, but um, it did last through the fall, the winter, and the spring, and so I was very happy with that. The next greenhouse that I use is going to be done with the, uh, the clear panels. I've already got some clear panels, so I'll probably be adding some of that. If you want to go with this plastic, try to spend the extra money if you want to uh, on the good quality greenhouse plastic. Um, if you're if you're not in a time crunch like I was, and you get it pre-planned, um, then get the good greenhouse plastic. That's going to last you up to like five years or maybe more, you know. But this was a quick emergency kind of build. And um, so that's what I went with. So this is pretty ugly. There's some of my driftwood collection, which is not ugly. That came from the Gulf of Mexico. Um, I've got stuff in there that is, I've got poke salad. <laughs> I've got poke salad in there growing now. I've got all kinds of stuff growing in there. Not necessarily everything that I want, though. But that's one of the ugly things of gardening is not staying focused. All right. Now, a lot of people don't have a YouTube gardening channel. And before I really got intense into making videos every day for a long time, I was doing pretty good out here. But I got caught up in the behind the scenes things with YouTube and it took me a lot of time. So, um, yeah, right now my whole garden and, and and property is suffering and uh but this is about the ugliest part of it so you do get to see this and you get to see the effects of buying the cheap plastic so let's move on to something else and get away from my shame and my pain here <laughs> well it's a little bit after 11 o'clock um just before noon here and that sun is getting pretty high yep I've got a few other things done today uh, so far. I caught up on a couple of videos, uh, some that I couldn't um, couldn't put down. Um, let me give a shout out to this uh, while I'm doing this. Granny, Granny Marino, okay? It, 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 she has got a wonderful channel out there and has always inspired me every time I watch her. Her name is Granny Marino. And um, I'll try to put a link in uh, the first pinned comment. I'm going to do some more um, shout outs to channels at the end of this video. And what I'll do is put a link to their channels in the first pinned comment. It won't be in the description. Uh, so look for it there in the comment section. And you can find all the people, uh, including Miss Granny Marino. I loved everything you did today, and those chickens were awesome. Okay, um, 
we <laughs> I showed you the bad. I'm going to try to speed this up, okay? I showed you some bad. I showed you some ugly. Now, these are all subjective things. When you see all of this right here, this I had much bigger plans for this year, and my plans are not done. But this is this is a lot of work right here. Um, I was, you know, what there's an old saying: um, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. And certainly, um, can I have a show of hands? of all the people who, who agree with me that says that 2020 has not been the year that goes according to plans, okay? So let's let that be it. But um, of the things that are good that I haven't fallen down on, my cayenne pepper, right? Um, John's wife's favorite little paquite pepper, little, little hot Brazilian pepper there. Um, my container gardens here, you know, um, uh, my Nicole bucket with the beans. I've got other things in here. It, it's, it, it's, it's truly a mess. My place, there, there's more ugly and bad than there is good. It's not really bad. It's just ugly to most people's standards. Um, you know, we see. See the things I've got here. It's a mess. Right now, my outdoor kitchen and everything is a mess. Um, I really was not expecting having a YouTube channel to be as much of a, 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 a job, you know, as it is. I, 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 early on, I gained newfound respect for everyone that puts out a video. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. But... Um, my container gardens, for the most part, ha have been awesome. Everything I've got in containers is doing well. The beans, mm, they're about played out in the heat right now. Going to get some more. Got a fall garden to get going. Um, so container gardens and what I have learned about container gardens from John at Will It Grow um, ha has really helped me. Um the connections I've made to other gardeners, and uh, there's two people, John at Will It Grow and Eric Hale, uh, both know a tremendous amount about peppers of all kinds. Um, so what's been good for me this year about my garden is the connections that I've made to other wonderful gardens, or gardeners, you know, uh, other homesteaders. The other channels that I watched and uh, make connections to. Um, and little guys like that right there. I don't know. If, hey, maybe I got him in a shot. Another little skink running around here. Uh, in this sun, my phone's heating up. So, let's see. Now, here is an example <clears throat> of something that was in my greenhouse. Okay? This is one of my um, uh, Egyptian... Uh, lettuce or uh, longevity longevity spinach is, is what a lot of people call it Egyptian spinach this was my pride and joy of everything that I had in my greenhouse I was so proud of this plant it was huge it was bigger than I could reach around it's it shrunk back here I took many cuttings and got those plants started and uh, gave the majority of those away those will live on in other people's hands, and I may be able to get some cuttings back from them. I was really counting on a lot of the um, uh, hot weather vegetables like this to help me out with shed wars. But again, these were things in the greenhouse, and I learned how to cook your vegetables before you harvest them. Yeah, that's painful. I'd show you inside the greenhouse a closer look, but it's really like the worst parts of the Bible in there. And I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so let me show you my pretty cayennes, which I will be taking off and harvesting here pretty soon. Um, let me show you something else that's been a great success. Hey, okay, we're back here in this little area. Anything that I have done using permaculture principles has done wonderfully. 
without me having to do a thing. Um, not, not a thing, except planning things. Um, none of this in here have I watered. I watered it one time, and that's it. I planted it and walked away. These little pots, of course, they, they don't count. But even my baby, um, uh, they got some fish water, you know, once or twice. Now, I have watered some of this. This, this. this right here, the transplants I watered. Comfrey, no. Once it got established, I quit watering it. And, you know, everything in here. Um, I've got daylilies from Jason Avers here, scattered out through here. I've got irises in there uh, that were given to me by Jason Avers and uh, Arkansas Woodcutter. Um, and you see the invasive species the salvinia compost here you go and look at here look what i found crystal found some isopods for you yep i'm not going to comment on what they're doing maybe they're fighting right but uh anything natural that i help uh nature help me with has worked out really well now let's get over here in this unruly mess that has become of the area over here beside my sun chokes okay this is these i have been so proud of these sun chokes what you're seeing here look at this look at how tall they are okay now these are a member of the sunflower family and there is a uh, sunflower gardening challenge i can't I can't reach anywhere near that high. Um, I'm six foot tall. That right there is on up around 10 feet right now. But I can't really count these for the sunflower challenge, even though they're sunflower, sunflower family. But these sun chokes are perennial forever food. They will keep coming back year after year after year and produce much food. So, for anyone that has the room, has the space um, that you can dedicate toward uh, forever foods like sunchokes or strawberries, you know, my, my strawberries down here. Anything that keeps coming back from its own seed um, is one thing I would suggest to you is a simple win. <clears throat> and and look how much sun they block up under here there's almost no no weeds to worry about um next year this will be thicker wherever you plant sun chokes you will always have sun chokes they'll keep coming back from even the smallest little bit i've learned that this year the things that i have learned this year about gardening are the most wonderful thing, um, the most wonderful good. There's something that I like to tell people to help them understand, especially when they're new to gardening. Now, I'm not new. I do have some experience. Um, but uh, uh, this year I expected to be doing uh, a whole lot better than I have. And I've said that a few times, so enough of that. But... Here's something that you want to take away if you're a new gardener or old gardener, or if it's not even gardening, okay? What you want to think about is this. If there's something that you want to do, and it is a good thing, it's going to help you, your family, it's going to help humanity, you know, if it's going to put you on that side of good, and you're, and you're wanting to know, it's like, can I do it or whatever, just try the first step that you take is the hardest to get over. It weighs the most. Now, in the case of gardening, the, 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 step, the first steps that you take are the hardest, and they actually weigh the most as far as a harvest goes because you're doing it. Um, and the knowledge that you get from learning how to plant something, even if it's a few beans, is invaluable. And just 
putting your hands in that soil, watching those plants grow, um, uh, learning the pain and suffering of failure early on will lead you to greater success in the years to come. That's how we all start out. Um, you don't have great knowledge without a great number of failures along the way. That's, that's the way it works. So if you're thinking about gardening and growing your own food or anything else that's worthwhile and helpful, um, and I would encourage you to grow your own food and learn how and start today. Um, those are the good things that I have experienced and what all the new gardeners can. You, you'd be surprised from those humble beginnings what you can accomplish in that year alone that's going to benefit you the next year. So enough about that. The, uh, the good overall has been anything that I've partnered with nature on. I haven't done anything to this bed. Um, all of my, all the rest of my permaculture stuff, uh, my hugel beds, once I built them and put plants in there, I did nothing else. We had enough rain to go in and soak in and get the, the wood wet, and it's been like a canteen. All through the dry times, my plants have had an amazing water source right at their feet where everything else didn't. And perennial plants, natural plants, they are acclimated to living in the wild. They survive where our cultivated species don't. You know, squash needs to be tended. Squash needs to be babied. But its wild ancestors do not. Okay? So it's, it's like that. Um, and these sun chokes have certainly been a wonderful thing for me. And another gift from another gardener. I have several kinds. But um, let's see. I've wrapped up that, I think. That's, that's, a, that's getting way too long. I can't make a short video to save my life. Um, now I'm going to switch over and give some shout outs to uh, um, the people that got this collaboration going while i do this i'll just let y'all look at those pretty peppers <laughs> oh i think they're pretty they're like i said there's people that really know how to grow peppers i'm not one of them and i'm very proud of of uh the little success i've had there with the help of my friend john at will it grow and what i'm going to do <clears throat> i've changed my mind about everybody's shout outs because i just can't um, I'm just going to stick with the, um, the collab, uh, folks right now. I want to thank Daniel at Copperhead Road Homestead for tagging me in this collaboration. Um, maybe I can show here today that if I can do this and uh, do as good or as bad as what you see here, that you can do better, whoever you are. That's the point of this for me. I want you all to know that you can do a much better job than I do. Um, okay? That's what I want to help you with. You can do this. Um, anyhow, Daniel at Copperhead Road Homestead, I appreciate you, buddy, very much. Uh, I've been a subscriber for a while, and we've been friends for a while. And uh, I appreciate all you and your family do. Now, uh, I, I did some of the, some of the background um, uh, on this, a little bit, not much, but uh, let me shout out now the channel, the, uh, the channel that started this collaboration, and that's C&M Farms, uh, CJM, CJM Farms. Uh, they started this collaboration, and uh, there is an awful lot of channels that's taken part in it, and I would encourage you all to go find them and learn about this, and maybe take it on up for yourself. I'm not sure, but um, let's see, and I'll leave the hashtag in the description for this, for this collaboration. 
<coughs> excuse me. Now, uh, Mary's Heirloom Seeds picked up this challenge. And then um, uh, she tagged Walterman Homesteads. Uh, or Hol Walterman Homestead. And um, I have become a subscriber to both of them. And then Walterman Homestead tagged Daniel. And now it's come to me and uh, my, my, my little video. And now... I'm going to tag someone. I am going to tag. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna tag somebody, and it'll be kind of a big surprise there. Um, Miss Voon Chow, Voon Chow. She is a um, uh, relatively new gardener, and she is an excellent cook with a wonderful channel. That most people know. If they know me, they know Voon. Um, she does some uh, incredible uh, cooking. And she's tried her hand at gardening. She took some very timid first steps. And was really worried, you know, about how good she would do. And she has exceeded her own expectations. And there are so many of us in the gardening and homesteading community that are so proud of her uh, for what she's been able to do. Um, she's doing a much better job at gardening than I am. <laughs> I tell you, Voon, you, you, you're doing great, darling. And um, you and Bella out there working. So I'd like to see, Voon, what you think about all this. What do you think is your uh, good, bad, and ugly points? And uh, how can you inspire uh, new gardeners or old gardeners uh, with what you're doing? Um, I'd love to see that. So, Voon, surprise, tag, you're it. Uh, for everybody that's made it to the end of this video, I truly appreciate you. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.